a very good afternoon here from Jakarta. I was recording without sound for the first two minutes. Um, you'll see the clip without sound. <laughs> he was uh, yelling at me for me to record him. And I wasn't set up yet, so uh, there you go. We are right next to the National Monument, which is uh, behind us. Oh, and so the picture if you want to see it and we are walking eastwards Oi <laughs> And <laughs> this is the second one that wants to be in the shot We are making our way towards the east on the side of Modeca Square here, Independent Square, where we are making our way towards Gambier Station and the railroad track. Uh, we will take a turn to the right or to the south and walk towards Chikini and hopefully we'll be there before it's dark. There's a lot of buses waiting here and the guy you saw in the clip without the sound, he is a tour leader from Sukabumi. And since it's after five o'clock in the afternoon, that will be a pretty long drive back because it will be pretty crowded, although it's a Tuesday, uh, Thursday. Not the worst day of the week, but uh, oh well, that's a long drive for them. There's a new toll road, but it will still take uh, about two hours to get there. In the normal conditions, I guess. On the right side of the road, we'll soon pass the American Embassy, which I shouldn't film most likely, so I'm not going to. Earlier, the issue was that uh, the pavement there has been closed down for 10 years. That has been resolved. We can walk there again without hassle. So, this is one of the last... Ooh, that's uh, really noisy. This is one of the last days of 2023 already. And you'll probably see this early 2024, which is a good uh, moment for me to have a little throwback and uh, see what we can do next year. More two buses here, and you can hear a train in the distance. These are from West Java, I think. Cherubon area, at least the license plates are in the Cherubon area. Probably also the out. So, 2023 where the world opened up on us again so we can travel again like uh, we used to and I managed to publish a video a week a main video a week uh, almost I think it's uh, not a flawless series of 52 but uh, we're pretty close so this is the American Embassy they've put up a huge Concrete wall, so I could probably walk there, yeah, but uh, oh well. We need to go there. By doing that, we need to make a little detour first because this is closed. We need to go bypass the station, which we'll do. A little bit of a hassle, but uh, traffic is pretty dense here on the late afternoon. So 2023 behind us and <clears throat> if I'm coughing or uh, sniffing I have a little bit of a cold so most likely my voice will also be slightly different but uh, yeah I wanted to make this one before the end of the year so there you go. Um, this year was a pretty nice year. 
we saw a lot of new uh, subscribers arriving after a number of uh, high idea viral channels, uh, viral videos, not channels. And which means there's uh, almost a thousand of you now, of which I'm uh, really happy and also a little bit proud. I have to say, not. All my videos are that popular, of course, I'm making what I want to make, which means that most likely you won't see this video though. But uh, there are videos that you probably did see, one of them, or two of them, were the videos I made about the high-speed rail from Jakarta to Bandung, which opens a few months back already. And when I mention a video or two, I'll uh, leave a link it leave a link to it in the comments so you can easily find it um, I can't place too many cards I guess so um, those videos are currently my number one and number two videos uh, all time that is so that's um, yeah pretty proud of that although that is uh, almost a no effort video as uh, it just from, took for me the train I had to take the train for that and uh, I'm near the one of the stations so that was able to do that right over here is uh, the National Monument of Jakarta Monas right over there look it will be closing down I guess I'm not really sure I'm going in there, I've made a video about that as well earlier, so uh, there's another card or link on that. Let's uh, continue walking. really bad there. It's really busy now, it's uh, just after still rush hour here, which means uh, traffic looks like this. And I still have to cross it in front, so uh, that's uh, something. But if it's standing still like this, it would be uh, pretty easy. Take the side, I should take the side, I guess. There we are. Looks a little bit sad, but uh, it's okay. Oh. Those were steep stairs. So my two best watched videos are both on the same drink subject, high speed rail, which is okay. And it incentivizes me to uh, probably make more of them. But not only the Indonesian one, of course. We also have a high speed rail in um, Laos, running to Kunming in China. So who knows um, how many to go there this year. Oh, next year that is, <laughs> when you see this video this year. Because China has a visa-free policy now for uh, Dutch passport holders. That started first of December. Trying to cross the street here. Should probably take the motorcycles here on the pavement, it's uh, pretty normal. Should take a zebra crossing. Let's see if they'll stop. I know they won't, but uh, let's see. Hope oh, there's no car. That would be easier. So if you uh, make your way a little bit here. Look, that's how you fuck up traffic, people. There's a uh, well, red light, you know? and the zebra crossing looks like this. Okay, 
that's pretty nasty, but uh, oh well, not my problem. This is my problem, you know, those kind of people here. And um, at least the pavement is wide enough, otherwise I uh, would probably stop in front of them. So, I've made uh, a few videos that were really popular this year. And maybe you can't hear me now because it's noisy, but uh, I'll put in subtitles as well. And I've also made a number of shorts that were uh, equally popular this year. One reaching almost 90k views, which is um, well, record breaking for me. So I'm really happy with that. And with those videos also came hundreds of uh, new subscribers each. So that made me even more happy. Of course, the comments also increase, but most of them have been uh, relatively friendly. No war has broken out over my videos uh, just yet. I'll uh, to keep it that way. A little spray from the watering system here. It is extremely busy because it's rush hour, like I said a few minutes ago. But. Uh, after that, after about half a kilometer, it should be slightly better. Oh, and uh, the hiccups here. There's no uh, zebra crossing here, so uh, let's just uh, clean it for a bit. Let's uh, continue. So this year was, uh, 2023 was uh, my best year until now. And 2024, I what that will bring. But what a fucking noise. I'm not sure what 2024 will bring, but uh, one of the first videos uh, after this one, most likely is a one or two part video about Gunung Padang, which I have been preparing over the last weeks. I have actually visited the location, which means uh, I'm an expert now, apparently. Not really though, but... Uh, I know. Well, uh, I'll put that in the video. Was, oh, I almost broke my neck again. I visited that side, which is um, a few hours away from actually where I live, so not terribly bad. It took me an entire day though, because uh, walking around there is uh, another few hours and then going back is another four hours again, so uh, that was a full 12, 13 hour trip. I would do it again though, it's uh, really nice there. But it will be in a near future video, or two maybe, because uh, I have some things to discuss of course, and you know where I'm going with this. It is, uh, Ancient apocalypse, of course, and uh, we'll dive into that later. That's what's to come. I still have some videos left from my visit to Singapore and Kuala Lumpur uh, in June this year. That's uh, six months ago already. Um, so there's a, at least a few videos coming out. I didn't do anything really special in uh, Kuala Lumpur, but uh, visited some things I. Uh, haven't seen before. One of them is a Chinese temple on the Han Hill and the KL Tower, which uh, I've seen plenty of times over the but never really visited. Look at the traffic people. I think it's uh, It's like this every afternoon here though, if you're uh, asking that. Yes, it is. There's no zebra cross, so uh, again, let's freelance this uh, for a bit. And we have a green light, which is very convenient. walk because uh, that's how it works. Let's 
uh, step it up a bit so on the first one yeah there we go we are at the intersection or roundabout or something uh, it's called Tugutani because of the statue of the farmers right over there I don't know the meaning behind it so I can't tell you right now but we'll figure that out and, uh, now we need to cross here, which you can, which you can only do. Can I do it actually? I'm not really sure. Let's uh, let's walk around it. Let's follow the U-turn over there. You have to go to the because Chikini is right over there. As the sun is slowly setting. On one of the last days of the year, it's the 21st right now, so that's uh, 10 days to go. Before uh, next year is uh, becoming upon us, or something like that. This is not the quiet walk uh, I had anticipated, to be honest. Oh well, should have known better. <coughs> Looks green though if I walk here. There is a zebra cross hidden somewhere there. Which is safer for me when the air traffic is not moving. So that's a, that's a good thing that it's as busy as it is. Look, no stop sign. And who stopped here? A bus for a political party and a part on the pavement. And they say, he's in honest Indonesia and, uh, and all. Let's uh, cross because uh, that's how it works. Still, a zebra cross. They really don't want to stop, so you have to look them in the eyes and anticipate that they will actually uh, break instead of uh, put their foot on the gas. But uh, that's how it is here. To Gutani from behind. There we are. See, it looks pretty nice like this here in the uh, late afternoon can't really see it when the sun's uh, right over there to get the idea and if it's still green you can cross the street we can see if it's still green by that light over there that indicates the right turn oh it was pretty easy didn't even have to run for my life Anglican church right over here with its use gauge. Should walk slower, I think that's better, but uh, yeah. yeah, we are still walking towards Chikini and Menteng more upscale areas of Jakarta, one of the more upscale areas of Jakarta. Menteng used to be a uh, popular destination to live already during the Dutch um, colonial times. So um, back then it wasn't called Menteng though, but uh, That building right over there is, of course, an old colonial building. Part of the Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Defense, and there's a training and uh, education 
center. So we can't visit it unfortunately. Let's continue walking then. I like it when the sun is going down. I planned this route for quite some time. I just never got to it really. But uh, it's the end of the year, so Clean, keeping up appearances, cleaning up my desk, and uh, yep, that worked out. That's why I visited Gunung Padang just over a week ago. And I made a plan to visit some other historic sites in West Java, most like mostly. That includes a, uh, they call it the Japanese cave here, so sounds pretty scary. And there is an old tunnel I want to see, which is called the Wilhelmina Tunnel, which is a Dutch train tunnel, which hasn't been in use for just over 40 years. Uh, I want to see that first as well. That one's so located in West Java, so it should be a few really busy days. Uh, the fucking idiots. And there he goes again, he had to go around me. The, the sidewalks here nowadays are pretty wide, so they now can go around you. Should be three of you uh, walking here side by side to obstruct them. Don't do that here though, do it uh, at the There's more motorcycles on the pavement. More fun if you're with three of them. So I'm with a bright light coming to me. Nice. Are nearing the location, uh, <laughs> nearing the location of a coffee shop located into the in the building of the headquarters, of the power company. And the place has been here for over a century, not the coffee shop, the headquarters. And the building has been renovated less than 10 years ago, I think. So now it's uh, pretty neat. I do the need to get in front of me, right? Some motorcycle coming. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit messy here, but uh, you'll get the idea how Jakarta is. No one really cares about traffic regulations. Oh, we aren't there yet. Oh, we already passed that location, I think. Yeah, now we are somewhere else. Sorry for that. is messed up. <laughs> this is one of the other colonial buildings. Now so it's as uh, sad to remember the fight of the independence of the Indonesians here. Uh, basically every city has one. At least if you have a colonial building you can repurpose it as a victory building and that's what they did. If you ask me if it's hot or not, uh, yes, but there is still a little breeze here now and most likely once the sun really sets, that breeze also dies down, which makes it uh, worse, but uh, we'll find out. There 
is a place to cross the street here. But let's see which one we are uh, taking here. Let's go take the left one, I guess. Easier to walk. That was good. But left straight. There we go, that one. So freaking busy here. But we have a pavement where we can walk. That's really nice. That's all relatively new. Built in the last few years. That's why I also took this route. So I can show you that it's actually possible to walk here. Loads of shops here on the left. These have been here for a really long time. And it looks much more cozy than it did earlier on, like two decades ago. So. And nice coffee shop here. Really busy. Let's uh, continue walking. Coffee. Yeah, it's uh, time to eat, so really busy. Arabian food. That's an unknown for me. Should try that. There is a little Arab community here. Mostly traders, like the Indians are here trading uh, fabrics and stuff. Most of them are second, third and so on generation. Not uh, to say new import, new arrivals. There is a lot of motorcycles everywhere. It shouldn't be. Okay, I'm going to stop recording and then start again because I'm almost at the half hour point. I wish my camera tells me, go F yourself. There we go, two, two. And there we are again. My camera can record for half an hour in 4K. Not bad, but uh, if you're walking, you'll need to uh, stop every once in a while. I s you see the smoke and I smell the sate, it's curious. Not sure where they come that comes from though. There. Ah here we are. Right in front of us. Yeah, that's something else. So Let's pan to the right a bit. This is normal traffic for every day of the week here. And parking on the pavement is no exception. That's pretty nice. Pretty egoistic, this one. See, there still is a breeze, but uh, will soon change. Uh, show you the trees. There we are, a little bit of a breeze. 
Cool. Oh, shoot. That was a sneeze. I had a few of them already. The pavements here are uh, relatively new. As are the green spaces. So this area slowly turns into a uh, lot more friendly place. Not of course, but uh, every once in a while there is a little bit of shadow, which is uh, always nice. We are at TIN or TIM, which is the observatory, Taman Ismail Marzuki Observatory here in Jakarta. I'm not sure what you can see uh, with the skies Jakarta normally has, but uh, it's a place of education, so uh, you're probably right. Traffic is getting worse. So, 2024, what should I do? What can I do? Um, I have made a loose trip. That will bring me to Malaysia again, but also um, Vietnam, Laos, and maybe China. But uh, for China, I can get my visa, which is uh, no, no problem. I don't have a visa. I only need a visa for Laos or Vietnam, or both, depending on the route I take. So, a lot of trains running it I haven't done yet, which are still on my list in no particular order maybe a high-speed rail train in china the high-speed rail that connects laos with kunming which was opened in april uh, this year also thailand has some routes i haven't done before i have done the padang Besar to hajai and then from hajai to bangkok route but there's more there's also a Eastern line that's all the way to Yala and the border at Tumpat with Malaysia. And Yala might ring a bell, but it's, uh, it's a little bit unsafe. It's marked orange, but uh, nothing too special. And foreigners aren't a tar face, so should be just fine. But that's also the start of the end, or the end, not of the end, of the um, Malaysian jungle train which is a sleeper train that runs once daily all the way from Johor Bahru to Tumpat at the border or the other way around of course and outside uh, the fact that it's extremely cheap you need to pre-book it uh, early because it's all uh, fully booked most of the time but also um, it's a sleeper so the departs in the evening and then uh, ends up at uh, Thailand uh, somewhere in the bay. And once in Thailand, you can then connect, or well, not really, you have to cross the border to, from Malaysia to which I have done already by, uh, on, by foot and motorcycle or by car last time. But you can also do that at different locations, of course. So you can enter Thailand. And on the other side of the border in, in Thailand, from Malaysia into Thailand, there is a little village, which is the very end station of, that, uh, of another train, 
that will bring just a regular train though, not a sleeper train. That brings you to Yala, for example, which is uh, in southern Thailand. Or you can all uh, take a transfer and all, drive all the way up to Bangkok if you, if you want to. Ideas are not finalized yet, as I want to do uh, as much, as many trains as I can. But also, um, a few airlines that I haven't flown before be in Thailand, so that's, um, that makes sense if I have to go all the way to Bangkok. Because from Bangkok you can fly easily to many places in Vietnam and even Cambodia. So, um, I haven't drawn my plans exactly. I know what I want. I just need 10-15 um, days of time for myself and, uh, and some money, of course. So, let's focus on getting my plans ready. So maybe early next year I will be able to travel. That would be after Chinese New Year, which is the 10th of February, if I'm not mistaken, which is an extremely busy, tra busy travel time in uh, Indonesia, but of course also in China. So um, you don't want to be traveling because if you don't have a ticket, you probably don't get one. And if you miss a connection, that's, uh, that's even worse. Because then you don't have a ticket anymore. And you don't want to be stranded in a city somewhere if you have planned an entire trip. So I want to avoid that. Which would mean I can finish up some videos in um, the coming month. January. I can start booking maybe in February. And uh, let's hope I can fly in March. In the second half of March, that also coincides with the fasting month here in Indonesia. So it's okay to be abroad. I don't fast, but food options can be limited, so it's, yeah. Uh, why not go to go? But that was more of a coincidence though, but uh, that still worked out as a charm. As you see, we are quicker than any car here, and now I see why. They are doing construction here. Let's see what they're doing. Sorry, your trip is interrupted. We are national. We're doing a national strategic project, which is the building of a wastewater pipe, JSPD Packet Five. That's a long. Uh, piece of information if you're driving here, but well, if you're standing here in traffic, that's okay. It's a very old looking building across the uh, street. Not sure if we can uh, film that. Okay. A little bit up, that looks really nice, but it's hidden behind the trees. Not sure if it's that old though. And yeah, the traffic jam was uh, because of that. And now I have a uh, low battery, so I'm going to change that first. Okay, there we are again. New battery, that's uh continue walking until it's really dark and then I have to walk back all the way to my car but uh, that's another issue yeah there are some tourists here but uh, not too many it's better in the old uh, old city there's uh, always a bunch of tourists hanging around
right in front of us, just before that building that's not finished yet, is the train station, which means we've pretty far. Not sure if it's uh, two or three kilometers. We can walk some more, but uh, if we continue walking south, we'll end up at the, at the river. Not much to see there. There's a KFC, but uh, I'm looking for something else to eat. Not really sure what though. That's the train tracks. And by bread, look. Another idiot part right in the middle of the pavement. He deserves to be scratched actually, but I uh, can't say it really hard. Another one parked on the on the lines, of course, because no one cares. It's really busy here because people are getting home from the train station. What? Hey. Also, there's a lot of lot to eat here. So do a quick last buy of the food here. Oh, that's nice. Pretty much food here. Look. Okay, this is a uh, food court outside nowadays. Not hungry yet, just ate before I left home and it was 4 o'clock. So, let's continue walking until we find something we uh, can eat and sit as well because it was really busy. Right on our side here is Chikini train station. Um, the station itself is, uh, <laughs> if you ask me, pretty ugly, but uh, that's how it is. Built in the 90s, first overhead tracks in Indonesia. And they serve their purpose very well. The looks are uh, a bonus, let's, let's go ahead. More food here. Fried rice, of course. Satay, of course. And local soup with beef. Kidney Gold Center. Yes. people still uh, seeing me here but uh, that's pretty common Let's 
taking the basement here. And now we've made it until the evening. We can uh, take a slightly slower pace, I guess. Let's see where we can go from here. Yeah. I have to say, this pavement uh, looks more full. The pedestrian area is uh, pretty nice nowadays. I'm slowly starting to wonder how to get back to my car though. I have parked at Monas, which is now uh, over half an hour away walking. It might get a train for one or two stops. Because that would save me a lot of time and effort. Mostly effort though. <laughs> Yeah, not too special here the views, but well, over there uh, the lighting is newer again. It's, uh, Traffic is still uh, really bad, of course. We are making our way to another big intersection, which also has been renovated pretty recently, so uh, it's easy to walk here now. And if you take that road, where all the bright lights are coming from, that is the... we end up at the Proclamation Monument. And right over here is the Metropole Cinema, one of the oldest cinemas in the Netherlands in this. I think we can see that, look. There will be a power cable in the way though, but... Uh, that looks pretty neat. Where should we go? We can go straight. Oh, we can take that way. I'm going to aim for a little detour before I'm uh, heading home. So yeah, 2023 is uh, coming to an end. Like I said, for me it was a really nice year with uh, record views and record new subscribers. And I'm happy with that. I, it's fun to do. And uh, I can only hope that this next year will be better. But uh, there's no guarantees and um, I can of course make videos of trains, but yeah, I'll see if uh, people really want that. There should be a crossing here, but it's gone, look. That's a little bit weird. And this traffic. Wants 
to stop, but uh, you have to do it. There still is a nice breeze, so I guess I should keep walking, right? Keep walking straight, we'll end up at Mangarai, which we can't do, so there's no straight road to there, it's uh, only detours. It's uh, head to the end and uh, call it a day, I guess. Not as long as I hoped, but oh well, it's okay. the street yeah, let's let's do that let's walk all the way up to the monument Pro proclamation monument and then uh, see from there there's also a lot of food there used to be a lot of food stores there I'm not really sure if they are still there we'll find out in a few minutes if you are still watching thank you and leave a comment uh, at the timestamp so other people can get curious and watch it as well I never sneeze. I think it's closed. I think it's not open during evening hours, but I can have a look and then uh, this one up. Also, this is one way traffic and I need to head back, so I need to cross anyway. Nice, thank you. So right over there in the dark is the proclamation monument. We can't enter. So let's uh, cross again. Keep uh, walking for a bit. Because if you continue it, we'll be at a under the tracks, near the tracks. There used to be a lot of food stalls. Not sure if that's still the case though. A lot of it has been cleaned up over the years. Over the years. Might just not be there anymore. Traffic here is more quiet. Not too many people just uh, eager to use their horn. A 
Nelson, let's win. Because yes, Jakarta has electric buses. That's a train. And that's an intercity train. That one is the Argo Parahyangan all the way to Bandung. Station, which is uh, where we started, where we started roughly, slightly to the north. There's another coffee shop. Most are closed. There's containers here under the tracks, but uh, they seem to be mostly closed. Oh, that's a that's a shame. But we have bright lights in our face. We'll end up at the same intersection we just crossed, so... Uh, Yeah, it's better to walk here when it's uh, quiet. Maybe I should do a midnight walk here. That's uh, better. At least more quiet. And it will still be safe. Nice. Messy tonight. There's no train station right here. It's only one at the front. It's uh, the one we passed earlier, Chikini. So if I want to go back, I better take a motorcycle taxi. That saves me uh, roughly an hour walking. Let's see if we can catch one. This is the way we came from. We crossed right in front of there. This is the metropole once again. Now 
we have completed the little loop. Because right here is the Metropole again. I think that's a good one to, cl to close this one off today. Look. There we are, yes. That is the Metropole Cinema. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, leave your comment, do leave your comments, I'll get back to you. And I'll see you soon in 2024.